have we gotten we, as little as it appears to be the case, given the enormous yeah. amount of money we've spent in Afghanistan? Well, you and I were equally observers of this money as it was spent until January 21st of this year when the president asked me to take on this job. Uh, was the money wasted? Yeah, some of it was, and I've been on the record as saying that. Uh, and I'm willing to be specific on some of the things I said publicly as a private citizen, none of which I would retract. Um, but it wasn't entirely wasted. The country was in the grips of the Taliban before the American troops arrived. They were driven out. Uh, there have been vast areas of the country have improved dramatically. Uh, women have been given opportunities which were unimaginable under the Taliban but still not where we think they ought to be. Uh, health programs are working well. The education system has been rebuilt. Many, most parts of the country actually don't have much fighting in them. Having said that, the so-called Pashtun belt, the south and east, which borders on Pakistan, is very, very um, difficult situation right now. And if any of you are interested in it, uh, read Dexter Filkins's extraordinary article in the New York Times on Tuesday of this week, uh, in which he got caught in a firefight in the poppy fields near Kandahar, an amazing piece of journalism. And, um, and you'll see how tough it is. So I wouldn't say all the money was wasted. The real problem, however, is that is not in Afghanistan. Afghanistan is tough, and, and I'm happy to talk about it. But the really tough problem is next door. Because when the American troops drove the Taliban east at the end of, right after 9-11, and the, going after al-Qaeda, al-Qaeda slipped across the border, as we all know, and the Taliban leadership went with them, and they nested in western Pakistan in the tribal areas, this remote, difficult area. And then, gradually, they looked around and said, hey, this is pretty fertile ground. <clears throat> and at first, they were just resting, recovering, rebuilding, and sending forays into Afghanistan. That looks now like the golden age, 2002, 2003. The administration then in power uh, made the decision to divert its resources to Iraq. That's why Senator Obama during the campaign said correctly, we took our eye off the ball. That was a correct statement. And Hillary Clinton said the same thing. And so the situation began to deteriorate just as the Taliban was entrenching itself in western Pakistan. And in western Pakistan, the situation is much more difficult because the United States cannot put troops into western Pakistan. Pakistanis don't want it. And personally, uh, I don't think it would be a great idea either. That's a very difficult terrain. I've flown, recently flown across it. I've been in it. It's like Afghanistan, but in, in, even, even more difficult. High <coughs> mountains, ravines, distant valleys, no roads and um, a long tribal tradition, which is quite a bit more aggressive than Afghanistan's. So now we're faced with a situation that the people who committed the attacks on the US on 9-11, the people who killed Benazir Bhutto, who committed the atrocities in Mumbai, who have attacked Islamabad and Lahore, and who are undoubtedly planning more attacks on other countries, and perhaps including the United States. They say they're going to attack us again. They're sitting in, Afga in Pakistan. So and that, that's our, that, to me, is the core of the dilemma. You have this huge country, second largest Muslim country in the world, fifth or sixth largest country in the world by population. Uh, not a failed state. Get that out of your minds. It's a cliche. But it is a country that has tremendous fragmentation problems. And we need to support Pakistan very strongly. Now, that's not always a popular thing to do, given all the problems in Pakistan. And meanwhile, we have to encourage them and help them to go after these really bad people.